Hello YouTube, back with a video, and in this video, I need your help. So stay tuned and I'll show you what's going on. So just to get you guys up to speed on where we're at, this is one of my 125 gallon tanks that is empty, except for these five rainbows. And if you remember, this used to be my rainbow tank, but I took everything down combined them in that 90 gallon tank and that's when stuff like this started to happen um, you can see he's either really beat up or he's got something going on uh, I saw it on this fish first and that is just a huge chunk and I assumed it was the pike cichlid some of you might remember I don't know three four five months ago this same fish had that same mark in the same spot and it was such a huge chunk I figured it must have been the pike cichlid but it actually got better and healed over. So I thought, oh, you know, it was just a bite. He healed, it was fine. But now it's back and it's in these other rainbow fish and it's only on the rainbow fish. So there's quarries in there, um, there's plecos, no problem there. It's just these weird abrasions are showing up on only my rainbow fish and only these five. Uh, you can see the turquoise here has been healed. So as soon as I started seeing this being a problem, I moved them into this tank. It was the only tank I had available at the time treated 125 gallons worth of meds which is crazy expensive but you do what it takes and so this guy is healed up this guy is pretty much i mean he's got a little issues there but uh same with this one now it's just these two are just not healing like i said at first i just thought it was the pike cichlid being aggressive you can see he's missing a portion of his uh, tail there and it see the one in the back does look like a bite but this side does not look like a bite so that's where I'm confused. And the pike cichlid is gone. He is out of here. You don't mess with my rainbow fish and expect to stay in this fish room. Uh, I knew there was a high chance that he would get aggressive, but you know, I was hoping. He was a cool fish, but he has gone to a better home. He is in a predator style tank now that's a lot bigger, so he should be just fine. But my concern is these guys here. So sorry about the cord here. I have the hang on front filter going um, and then a power head over there just to help circulate but uh just had some lights turn off i hope we can still get a good view here if you've ever seen anything like this and again it's only on rainbow fish which is really confusing to me uh let me know give me your advice like i said three of the five are better but this guy is just not getting better it did the first time this happened to him uh he completely healed up but now uh it's been this way for about two maybe three weeks now so I'm just not sure. I mean, I've been keeping the water clear as well as clear as I can. I just did a water change, so everything's kind of stirred up there now and changed the media in the in the filter there. So it's all kind of stirred up now, but still eating and not looking lethargic, swimming normally. I've never seen this kind of damage to fish before and not have them act funky at all. Like, I mean, you can see they're swimming around, they're schooling, they're acting just completely normal. Like they don't even care what's going on on the outside of their bodies. but lucky for them i do so like i said if you've seen this before let me know if you have any suggestions let me know all right everyone that's pretty much it when it comes to the rainbow fish now i did catch something cool in the fish room here the other day my wood cats if you don't remember my my baby orca fish video uh kind of clickbait but whatever you guys fell for it you still liked it so that's all right uh i saw them for the first time since releasing them and they were being very hyper aggressive. I don't know what their deal was, if they were mating or establishing a new pecking order, but I'm gonna leave you with that because it was super fun to watch. It's not the best footage because they were in the back corner of the tank, but uh, I hope you enjoy it. Like I said, let me know if you have any suggestions for me down in the comments and I'll see you all next time.